Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode of One Step from Eden. Hope you guys are having an awesome day. I'm having a fantastic day. We're going to play as Celesi, uh, who is a very ice-based character. Her weapon, she charges forward and deals damage to all the, uh, the, the four tiles in front of her. Uh, and it is basically 10 damage plus 80 damage and restore a mana per frost stack on the target. So if the, the enemy has two frost, you would do 160 damage with this attack, which is just insane. Uh, three frost. The way that frost works is if you stack frost three times, it removes the frost and deals 150 damage to the enemy. So basically the goal with Celesi is to get two stacks of frost on an enemy and then hit him with Snowpiercer. Uh, to facilitate that, she has a few different things. She starts with Bulwark, so every battle she starts with 40 shield, uh, which is pretty good. Ice Needle shoots a, a shot that fires out and then comes back, and so it can potentially apply Frost twice. Cold Medicine uh, shot heals the target for 40 HP, but then applies two stacks of Frost. Fate Shield gives you 200 shield, but it like creates a bar. It, it's it's okay. Uh, you'll you'll see it in action. And then Zenith is uh, a delayed 3x3 three three explosion on the tile you're standing on that can hit you, but does 150 damage. Honestly, this is terrible. This is a, <laughs> this is awful. Um, but overall, really cool and interesting character. So let's give this a go. And obviously, we're going Frost all the way. So as soon as we do... Oh, ouch. There we go. Thanks for the heal, nurse, since I messed up the very first one. This is like the perfect, the perfect thing for Celesi. Mint tea, fantastic. And Frostbolt, nice and early, also great. Okay, so first things first, we are gonna remove Zenith. This card is terrible. Like it's it's actually awful. Uh, and then we're gonna go Anima, Anima, try to get as many Frost spells as we can. Anima will give us, uh, anima will give us Frost, Fire, and Lightning. Uh, but Frost is really all we care about. There are some interesting synergies between uh, Frost and Fire where you can maybe do some things like both ways. So it can be good, but uh, I think we can want to go this direction. This looks like a good path. So two Frost, big damage. That's basically how this whole thing works. You're dead. You're dead. Like, beautiful. Okay. Okay. So, a few different good things here. You got Shield Beam, which is a, just a good, solid spell that I don't mind putting in any deck. It deals damage, it gives you Shield. Bomb Toss, meh. Frost Barrage is what we're going for. Anything that says Frost on it, we're probably going to take. Okay, so let's see here. Transmission, weapon damage increased by one for every five spells in your deck. That's actually pretty good, considering we're going to be using our weapon a lot. Uh, but in order for it to really help us a lot, we would need a lot of spells. Um, card thrower is pretty good too. This is what I was hoping for on our last run. We didn't get it. <laughs> um, or maybe it wasn't. Maybe it was the run before that. I don't know. I think this is what we want though. I think we just want to take the mana regen. All right. So this is kind of an annoying one because of where the hostage happens to be located at the moment. Also, we got hit there. So this is what I'm talking about with this thing. It's not great. Uh, there we go. Can't hit you at the moment. Well, hostage dead now anyway. So now we can fire this thing to our heart's content. But the that attack would have killed the hostage, which is obviously not what we were trying to accomplish, so. Um, I don't think we want any of this. Cold Stone, is, it sounds like it should be a thing we'd want, but it really is only good for... I mean, it's an okay. It, it's okay. It deals 200 damage for 3 mana, which is useful. Uh, it's very good if we got into a flow deck, but we're not really going flow. We're going ice. Although, you know what? Three. You know, it, it, We'll take it. Let's take it. It's, th it's 200 damage. So, like, it's a good big damaging spell that can kill things. Uh, I think that's maybe fine. All right, let's fight this. Okay, we got more of these dudes. Careful. There we go. Get some good damage in on you. 
All right, that one's dead. Oh, boy. All right, I managed to hit the hostage there, which was very much not my intention. There we go, and Cold Stone finished him off, and we're back to full HP. Pretty good. Okay, money or shield? I will take the shield battery. Well below, she uh, well we're below 20 shield, we just get constant shield. That'll save us a lot of damage over the course of the run. I think that's good. Uh, and here we can just take the mana vein. I think that's the way to go. Uh, and we're at full HP, so no need to go to the campsite. That's just a waste. Do that. Okay, there's that one. And then gather up the money. Okay, cool. That's fine. That's a useful spell. Uh, I will take shields up just to get us some more defense, which is going to be super important. Uh, I would very much like to get this. We can actually... Oh, there we go. I managed to get my shield to keep us going, but I had to time that just right. Okay, Meltdown is a good payoff spell. Hits all enemies that have frost on them. We're going to be putting frost on a lot of enemies, so we're happy to have that. Okay, cool. And we get uh, Reva as our boss, which is actually great because Reva will give us a revive. Okay. Oh, don't stand there. Or there. I'm so bad at dodging this spell. Like, I'm actually terrible at dodging this spell. But as I said, we're going to want to keep her alive anyway, so who cares? It's fine. There we go. Almost got her. We've done it. All right. We save you for sure. We do not want to go here because we want a chance to unlock Violet. So let's go to the non-icy place. We're not going to go to the icy places until not this one, but the next one. Or, like, not the next one. I know what I'm trying to say. It's fine. Ignore me. Easy. All right. So, Thunderstorm's pretty good, but we can't afford it right now mana-wise. But it's not that... Like, it's it's good, but it's also bad at times. Uh, Whirl hits three ahead for 180 damage. 180 damage for two mana. Uh... Like, it's good, but it doesn't really fit the deck. I think we just skip all these. We're looking basically for, like, all the Frost and Frost synergies. That's what we care about here. Uh, I'd very much like to be able to go to the shop at the end of this, and this is going to be a way to do that. I'll do some good damage. You're dead. Hit you, hit you again. Piece of cake. I think we skip. Celesty is one of those characters that starts off, like, really strong, but then, like, kind of tapers off more towards the end. Because, like, you start off amazing. Uh, and this character, I'm... Okay, so you always go to the inverse. I get it. I see how this... Ow. I see how this enemy works now. It always teleports to the opposite tile. Uh, freeze for 5.5 seconds to get two mana back. Yeah, eh, none of this we care about. That's freeze as in, like, uh, be stuck in place for a minute. 
50% chance to launch a missile with weapon damage when you use our weapon. I mean, we do use our weapon a lot, so sure. But when I say inverse tile, it's like the opposite of where it is on the grid. So like if the enemy was here, they would teleport to here. Here, they would teleport to here. Here, here, so on and so forth. So anyway. Uh, yeah, let's just keep going. Let's fight a little mini boss enemy. Yeah, that's not where I want to be standing. It's fine. You're dead. Not too bad. Took some damage there that I probably shouldn't have, but that's okay. Uh, now we'll take transmission. Now we'll take it. I'm glad it had. I'm glad it showed up again. Uh, and we'll go here for another relic, hopefully. Okay, you're gone. Very good. So we got a decent amount of enemy, uh, a decent amount of uh, money, I should say. Again, none of this we care about. Let's go to the shop and see what we got. What do we got in here? Bismuth's pretty good. I don't think any of this stuff is good enough to buy. Like, Bismuth is good, for sure. Um, but not that good. Like, I think I'd rather just buy upgrades. And just upgrade all the things. And I will buy one removal as well. Just to have for later. Because you can only buy one, for, one per shop. And that could come in handy at a later time. Uh, so let's upgrade some stuff. Let's first of all upgrade Ice Needle. Double cast. That seems good. Double cast. Sign me up. Uh, Frostbolt. Splash damage. I'm not sure if that applies frost or not. Uh, let's try it and find out. And then last but not least, let's actually upgrade Meltdown. 25% double cast. Here we go. So, increasing the cost of our spells, but doubling their effectiveness, essentially. Alright, Saffron. Hit you with that. Hit you with that. Missed. Ow. Okay, some good, some decent damage in here. There we go. We're getting there. And now you revive. And pizza cake. And you know what? You, I'm sorry. I don't need you. Dusted. Okay. Self-defense turret is interesting. Sometimes you will get enemies that will just straight up murder themselves on this thing. Which is great. However, eh, probably not what we're looking for in this deck. But it does, it, it, I mean, they will straight up just murder themselves on this thing. Uh, you know what? Let's do it. Why not? The more I say it, the more I talk about it, the more I'm like, yeah, this is good. And then here, I think you just buy an up, you just take the upgrade. Take the extra upgrade and use it probably on, um, probably on Frost Barrage. Extra shots? Sounds good. Let's give it a couple extra shots. We can always remove the turret, too, if we decide it's not working out for us. Okay, now we go here. To the forest. Okay, the splash damage does not apply frost. That's unfortunate. I was kind of hoping it would. Uh, this is annoying. Okay. <laughs> Get rid of this. There. Very good. Take the heal. Uh, shield beam's pretty good, honestly. I think I'll take it. I 
I'm basically going through like this hierarchy where I'm like, okay, does it give me defense or frost? If yes, then take. <laughs> That's basically how I'm doing this right now. There we go. Ah, I was really hoping to get that. I didn't get the HP back, but that's okay. Uh, we'll skip these. We don't want them. We're okay. Uh, and here, I think you go with the max mana. Just give me more mana, then we can afford more. There's some very good frost spells that we can't afford at the moment. So this is an unfortunate one. I don't think there's actually a way for me to get this, because I don't think I have much that can actually hurt. Yeah. Yeah. I don't have anything that can, like, jump, that can, like, go over enemies. Uh, Forte here is great. It's a one-time use, 150 shield. I'm good with it. One-time use per battle, obviously. Let's do one of those. Uh, do one of those. Do one of those. Throw that down on you. Beautiful. I mean, Minigun is so good, though. We're taking it. And we're going to upgrade it and hope that it gives us a 25% chance to apply Frost so it fits our deck. <laughs> That's basically my hope. We'll see if that happens. Okay, there's that. Hundred money. Sure. Money is good. Skip all those. And this is actually great. Like, you love getting that nice and early. Also love getting free heals, basically, so... Okay, pretty good. <laughs> I think we flawless that. Yep. Very nice. Okay. Wildfire is great if we were going into fire, but we're not. So we're just going to skip all these again. I shuffled when I did not intend to. Okay. Very careful. There we go. Just give me some shield. There we go. Get rid of your turrets because they're annoying. I'm going to get hit. That was not where I wanted to hit that. <laughs> I just realized. Okay, there we go. Just more damage is always good. Just keep pounding. Just keep adding it up. Give me my shuffle. There we go. Beautiful. And you, you're just dead. I, I don't care. She doesn't give you any. She'll occasionally summon, like, a turret. That's all she does. Meh. These are all bad. Gaining a removal. I think here you go Chalice. Increase mana regen when you have low mana, basically. Uh, and here you just take the healing, because these both are terrible. So... Uh, now we go to the ice, and we hopefully unlock Violet. That's the plan. Get rid of you before you can summon a thousand more enemies. And then I'm going to let you kill yourself. You did not kill yourself? Excuse me?
Skip those two. Alright, let's see here. So this would take us to the shop and get us a relic from a bo a mini boss. This would get us a few upgraded cards, a campfire. I think we go this way, we want to hit the shop up. That's my thinking. Put that down over there. Saved them both, so we get two relics. Very nice. Symbiosis, meh. Umbrella, meh. <laughs> we get two bad relics is what we get. Uh, and we don't want any of these either. Okay. Let's throw that down. You killed my hostage. How could you? Rude. Very rude. Okay. Anubis does not fit our deck at all, but it's just really good, so I might take it anyway. Fracture is also... Oh, it, Fracture is great in flow decks. It's honestly super solid in flow decks, but kind of not great outside of that. Thunder, one damage... Uh, one mana for 100 damage. Uh, you know what? I'm going to take this just to help us deal with hostage situations, I think. That seems like a good plan. Let's throw that down there. Okay, you're dead. I need you down here, destroying that. There we go. Okay. Very good. That worked out pretty well. I think we maybe got hit once, if even. Uh, three money after every battle. I think we're still early enough in the run where that can do some good work for us. So check out the shop. What do we got? Max mana. Permanently gain one spell power when you save a hostage? Yes. I'm just... You don't even think about it. It's just incredibly good. Um, The rest of it, though? Meh. I think you just buy upgrades. We can get an... Uh, here we can basically get another upgrade by buying a room. We can get an upgrade essentially for 65 gold. So let's just do this. All right, now we got upgrades to spend. Please frost or double cast, either one. Okay, we didn't get the frost one, but we got double cast. That's worth it. You take. Uh, okay, what do we got here? Let's do thunder. 25% chance to apply frost on hit? Sure. Kind of boring, but it's it's fine. Uh, turret SD. Shields up. Or we could upgrade another uh, one of our already existing ones again. Let's try upgrading minigun again. 25% chance to leave flame on hit. <laughs> or we can double double cast. Dude, you gotta double du How can you not double double cast me the, the minigun? Like, yes, this is incredible. Is what? Three mana now? But double double cast? Yes, please? That sounds amazing. Plus, we get uh, more spell power whenever we save a hostage, so that's great. All right pop over here. So basically we want to save like all the hostages we can. Okay, there we go. We're double double casting minigun, which is just ridiculous. I love it. Um, I'm just going to toss that down here. Let you guys destroy yourselves. There we go. Beautiful. That went very well. Okay, so these are, this is all flame stuff. Uh, flames, okay. Like, flames are good. 
I don't know that we want to go super heavy into flames, but... I do think I'm never sad to see Firewall. Haste for two seconds when you cast a spell. Movement speed is doubled. I mean, your movement speed, you're, you can already move almost instantly, so like, whatever. On flow. Great in flow decks. Not great otherwise. We take the mana gem. Alright, cool. So we get a chance to unlock Violet. get all the shield we can. Oh, I missed. Excuse me? That didn't hit you? Your attack, though. It swept across the whole thing. Are you telling me it didn't hit the, the thingamabob? Okay, well, I've made a terrible mistake. Get rid of those before they can become a problem. Okay, we're taking some hits here that I'm not a huge fan of. Oh. No, don't use that. Throw that in the back row. We are double, double, double casting minigun right now. I love it. Okay. There we go. And we're going to save Violet for the HP and also for uh, the buffs that she'll give us. Because it'll make minigun. She gives you spell power buffs usually. Which will make minigun even more ridiculous. I mean, just, just, give, just give me some shield, yo. Uh, let's toss that over there. Do one of these. Get some heals from the nurse, which also gives us a permanent spell. Oh, and Sarah Cannon. Dude, this run is ridiculous. Does damage equal to your money. So we basically just are not buying anything for the rest of the run. Um, but yeah, like, that thing can... I mean, just imagine, you can, you know, you get a couple thousand money, and you can basically just do, like, a thousand damage on command. I didn't want to hit the hostage. There we go. We want to, want to save all the hostages we can. Guillotine... It is an epic rarity uh, card. Like, it's a high, very high rarity card. It's just not that good. Hits col hit four mana to do 80 damage to a column and instantly kills enemies that have less than 300 HP. The problem is most enemies we're going to be coming up across here pretty soon don't have less than 300 HP. I don't know. You know what? Let's try it. Let's see how it goes. I, I, I'm not optimistic. It just doesn't sound that good, but let's try it and see how it works. Get some good damage in there. Look at that. Minigun's doing 10 damage per shot already. Which is just lovely. Uh, skip all that. None of that's that great. Okay. Toss you down there. There's Guillotine. Wow, Guillotine has a huge wind-up time, too. Good to know. Huge wind-up time on Guillotine. I don't know. Spells that cost four or more mana restore one mana. Honestly, we have a few of those. We've got... Actually, we've only got guillotine. 
That's the only one we have that restore. Okay, so you know what? We're just going to take Undershirt. Two defense permanently. Just always take two damage or less. That seems good. Uh, you just go Mana Gem here. The other two are irrelevant to our current run. Uh, we're going to skip the shop because Sarah Cannon, and we'll just go for the Relic. Give me the money. Very nice. Two Trinity at the start of battle means our first, um, or our, I guess our second minigun will be incredible. Uh, none of these we want. We skip them all. Goodbye. Okay. Uh, do this, do this, and then do that. Let Guillotine finish him off. Blue Blood. Start battles with full mana. That's awesome, actually. Limit Break, I think for us, is also great. It double casts. It does 10 damage plus one for our spell power, which is currently at three, but is going to keep going up. Limit Break, I think, here seems pretty sweet. Okay. Oh, missed. Managed to get hit there, but that's fine. Now you get a little bit of a minigun action. There you go. Let's get rid of these mines before they become a problem. Okay, we're okay. I shouldn't have put that there, actually. And Oh, it hit him anyway? Okay. Uh, I'm not actually sure where I was supposed to dodge, but okay. This is, yeah, uh, not a whole lot I could do on that one. That's fine. You are very dead, good sir. You are not dead. There we go. Um, Do we kill or save? I think the extra healing at campsites will be valuable, especially since we're getting pretty late in the run here. And we can use the, the HP as well. So, let's go here. See how we do. Okay. You are going to kill a hostage, if I'm not careful. So, we need to get rid of you ASAP. The other ones, like, yeah, we want to get rid of them too, but... Dude, we just melted him. Just absolutely melted him. I love it. Firestorm, also an interesting one. Rains down shots. The nice thing about it is you don't have to aim it. It just hits random tiles on the other side of the field, so you don't have to pay attention. You can just click on it, call it good. So I think we'll take it. Uh, again, we're going to skip the shop. I think we're probably, like, legitimately, I think we're done with shops for this run. We just want money. For uh, what you call it, cannon, Sarah cannon or whatever it's called. Uh, this one is a little tricky because I don't want. Well, you know what? Fine. If we release the snake, we release the snake. We release the snake. Okay. We will kill the snake. Have I mentioned how much I hate the stupid snake? Took like 200 damage on that fight. Sustain. Gain one Trinity. If Trinity is full, gain shield equal to the damage of the spell in the other slot and gain one flow. Honestly, I will take this. We've got some good Trinity stuff going in this deck. Worst case scenario, it's gain one Trinity. Best case scenario, we can get a ton of uh, good stuff. Okay. 
definitely don't want to let the hostage die because we want to keep pumping that spell power. Uh, we don't want any of this. Flamberg is not that good. It's like okay in a flame deck, and that's about it. It's just not that good. Okay. Okay, not bad, not bad. Very good. You're gonna go back into the flame and then you're gonna regret your life choices. Very good. We gained a bunch of HP on that fight. Uh, I'll just take another undershirt more defense. Sounds good. Just take less damage from everything. I'm good with that. Um, wow. This is actually kind of a weird one. Because, like, we don't need the healing. I guess you take Harpoon? Like, we have a card or two in our deck that generates flow? <laughs> it's not great, though. Oh. All right, well, fire took that out for us, thankfully. So, decent. 20 max HP when you kill a hostage. I mean, we don't plan on killing any. Frost to all enemies, that's a great card. For our current deck, anyway. All right. So, Sarah Cannon now does, like, 400 damage. 500 damage. Uh, skip. I mean, how does Sarah... Is it half your money, or is it your money, period? Equal to your current money. So we're this is currently two mana to do 600 damage. I love it. We want to upgrade that, by the way. For sure. It, imagine getting double cast on that thing. This is a very annoying boss. Yep. Okay. go. It's a lot of extra damage. You're gonna die right here, for sure. Goodbye. You are gone. Alright. Uh, I know I'm a little low on HP, but I'm just gonna kill him. And hope they give me an upgrade, so I don't have to go to a shop. Okay. Uh, Hailstorm we definitely want. Hmm. All enemies starting with one frost, though. Like, it's so good. It's so good. For this deck. Um. But then again, the upgrade. I'm going to go with the upgrade. Because the thing is, we've only got, like, one uh, floor left. Because this last one over here, this is uh, uh, the final boss. So we only have one floor left. If there's not a shop on that floor, which I don't know if that can happen or not, unless you kill the shopkeeper, I want to make sure that we can, uh, you know, get what we need. I also probably want to hit the campsite on the last floor. So uh, what we want to do here, without a doubt, is... Did it not give us the upgrade? Yeah, it did. Okay. 
We want to upgrade Sarah Cannon. And we can double cast. Let's go. Double cast Sarah Cannon. So that's going to do like 1,200 damage on a hit now, which is pretty sweet. Uh, which means, I think, Guillotine, you've been fine, but uh, your time has come. Get out of my deck. <laughs> You're past the point of being particularly useful. I'm just going to let you murder yourself. You, you, you did not murder yourself. There we go. We took a ton of damage on that fight. That was not good. Uh, we don't want any of this. Skip. So we definitely want the campsite. And we definitely want a hostage rescue. The question is, do we want to fight a boss? Uh, do we want to fight a mini boss first? Ah, that was bad. I shouldn't have dived straight into it, but meh. Hit all flames and refresh them. I don't really have a whole lot of flame generating stuff here. I mean, I do have firewall and firestorm. Yeah, sure. Why not? We'll try it. 150 damage if they're standing in a flame. Plus it like refreshes the countdown on all the flames as well. So that's pretty good. Okay, you're dead. Uh, I don't want to use either of these because I don't want to hurt the hostage. I will just let my minigun destroy the enemy. There we go. Uh, honestly, mini thunder, it's a little late for it, but I'll take it. It's free and it heals me for five. It's, a, it, it's pretty late in the run for it to really do anything particularly useful, but even still... Uh, let's do this. Get some fire going on you. Since you're just chilling. There we go. We hurt the hostage, but we saved the hostage. Is okay. Three luck or ten defense while shuffling? Give me the ten defense while shuffling. The luck at this point, we don't, it doesn't matter. We have no poison. We really don't have flow. Let's just take a mana gem. Okay, so here you definitely go to the campsite. And just heal as much as you can. All right. Uh,. This dude is about to be very dead. Somehow he gained a ridiculous amount of shield. I'm very confused as to what happened there. That was not where you wanted to stand. For the record. What's going on? Oof. This is not going particularly well. Okay, you're dead. Yeah, we're definitely going to have to... I don't know if we could beat the final boss, honestly. We're kind of... Uh, we have some issues, for sure. One mana for five mana when we have seven overall mana, plus it heals me. Yeah, I think that's good. It's consumed on use. Only heals me for a tiny amount, but even still... All right, toss this back here. Start raining down this stuff. Okay. Uh, take with this. Uh. Okay. 
great damage there. The downside is you can actually hit your own defense turret, which is just not good. Get out of the way. We've done it. Uh, we're saving you because I need the HP before I go fight the final boss. Please heal. Thank you. I think we might actually be pretty close to max HP right now. We gotta be super careful here, though. Also, it appears we take damage from our own flames, which is not something that I knew was a thing. Alright, we're gonna mini mini gun. Don't get hit by those if you can avoid it. Nor those. Ah, so much damage. Yeah, so much damage. I mean, I don't know how I'm supposed to know which one of those is I'm supposed to dodge, but like, okay. Get out of the way. I mean, we're real close. We're dead, but we should have a Reva revive. Yep. Just don't panic, self. Get over here. Should be safe-ish. No, don't die, don't die. We're so close. We've done it. We've done it. We have defeated the game. Victory, which unlocks uh, an alternate kit for Celesi as well. So there we go. That's the ending. It's kind of anticlimactic. You get, you make it to the end. You break open the wall to Eden, and then you're li they're like, nah. You killed people over the course of your run. You don't you don't get to come in. But still, we got all sorts of goodies. So we got a new kit for Saffron. That one you just get from leveling. We've unlocked Violet as a character. We've unlocked the secondary kit for Celesi, and we've unlocked Brush Fire and Molten Core, which are, you know, fine. Uh, but if we look, the new kit for Celesi is the Invade Kit, and uh, it's pretty cool. Dash forward, and then you can move around in the enemy field for a couple seconds, or for like half a second. You get mana when you're moving. You can apply Frost like before. But then the idea is, you've got these spells Zenith and Crossfire, which hit uh, do huge amounts of damage, but only basically on top of you. So the idea is, you dash forward, you use your big damage spells, and you dash back uh, before they can hit you, so you hit the enemy instead. So pretty cool, and then Violet, you know, Violet is the violin character. We'll play as her at some point. Uh, but yeah, that is going to do it for today's episode. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Links in the description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, my friends, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.